The international symbol of pride, religion, and leadership. The ultimate sign of superior social status among peers. The most noticeable way of expressing your emotions through clothing. Psh, yeah right. You know what, real world? I want a hat with fucking flames on it. I want a hat with holy hand grenades attached to it. I want a hat that jiggles like a wobbly dick when I run. Yeah, that's right. I want some fucking Team Fortress 2 hats. Unlike real life, hats in TF2 represent more than just a souvenir. More than just a shout-out to your local team. More than making you look like just a complete douchebag. TF2 hats are a sign of commitment to a community. A symbol of respect between peers. And I mean, come on, who doesn't want a hat with fucking flames on it? Now, before we talk about how to get hats, let's go over a quick history of hats in TF2. Hats were invented when Robin Walker woke up one morning and found that his head was balding. In order to prevent embarrassment, Robin snuck nine hats into the Sniper vs. Spy update thus saving his reputation around the office. Seeing the popularity of these hats, Robin and the whole TF2 team started to devote their entire development time entirely to hats, not focusing on other, more important aspects of the game. Following TF2's success with in-game items, Portal 2 incorporated a hat system as well, proving to be much less successful and praiseworthy. AKA IT SUCKS! Let's begin with the basics, how to get a hat. Now there are five different ways of obtaining a hat. You can find one, buy one, craft one, trade for one, or uncrate one. But if you've seen my previous video, then you probably know I'm not going to show you how to uncrate a hat, because you know, it doesn't turn out very well. Now, finding a hat is pretty simple. Just play the game and wait. You'll probably find a hat sooner or later. Or you'll end up like me and find six fucking crates in a row. Fucking crates. Buying one is also simple, but it costs real money, so try not to waste too much of it. Just remember, every time you buy a hat in TF2, Gabe Newell gets a Snickers bar. Crafting a hat is actually pretty hard work. First you gotta get three refined, craft them together, and BAM! You get a shitty fucking hat. God damn it, I HATE THIS GUY! Now, on to trading. Since trading was introduced in September of last year, it has spawned a whole economy full of TF2 gamers dedicated to items. There are countless giveaway sites, price comparison charts, and... Oh yeah, I forgot it was banned. And sub-communities online who spend countless hours trading just to have the most boastful backpack. Whoa, look at this guy's backpack. This guy. Whoa, holy shit! Just recently, Steam has included the trading update, where you can now trade extra Steam games for hats and other TF2 items. You can also trade for Spiral Knights items, but let's be honest, who the fuck plays Spiral Knights? I mean, that game's a piece of shit. To learn more about this trading thing, I decided to see firsthand what it's like trading for a hat. I knew it would be a difficult task. But I was sure that through hard work, persistence, and dedication- Anyone wanna give me a free hat? And have your hat? I'll suck your dick for a hat. Free hats, please! Hey, that's cool, you guys both got the same hat, can I have that? I will stroke your fucking balls. <laughs> I just want a hat! <laughs> Would anyone care to donate to the Wise Katas Foundation for every hat that gets donated? Oh god, what?! Uh, uh, <laughs> Someone wants to give me a hat? He's not actually gonna get. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god!